All right, so let's do some exercises with NumPy array concatenation and splitting. So concatenation is just a fancy word of joining two arrays together or joining two things together. And splitting obviously is splitting a larger array into two or more smaller ones. So let's start with joining, let's start with concatenation. So given these two arrays, X and Y, can we just join them together? And that is just gonna use the concatenate function uh, from NumPy. So all I'm gonna do is call up the NumPy library and use the concatenate function here. And then I'm gonna type in uh, what I wanna concatenate. I wanna concatenate X and I want to join it with Y. If I run this, I'm gonna get an error. So let, let's, I'll just show you the error that I'm getting. Only integer scalars arrays can be converted into uh, to a scalar index, right? That's super cryptic. I don't really know what that means. Uh, but what it means is you're passing in two parameters to this concatenate function, and it actually is really only wanting one. And in order to make it into one, I just put these brackets over it. And so now I'm just putting one parameter into uh, this concatenate function. So if I do this, I just enclose it in brackets because that's the way the function wants it uh, to be to be uh, imported in. I am getting now an array that is joined together. Um, now it is two, four, six, which is X, and eight, ten, twelve, with it, which is the Y array, and that's exactly what I want. Join these two arrays together using its default parameters. What if I wanted to now add in uh, the Z, uh, the Z array? Well, that's the same thing. I'm actually just gonna copy the top function here. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just tack on a Z right there. And I just I just get um, the third array, the Z array attached to the X and Y array. So that's super easy. We're, we're gonna now play around with a, a multi-dimensional array, this grid array here. So if I run it and I, and let me just display it. We're gonna be working with this multi-dimensional array here. All right, so this next question is concatenate grid, so this array called grid, with itself along the second axis. So what is the second axis? The second axis is actually axis equals one. So I'll actually, let me just code up something real quick and then I'll explain to you what the axis uh, one is, what the second axis is. So let's just concatenate grid uh, with itself. So calling in the uh, concatenate function, remember brackets, grid, comma, grid. And if I just run this line of code, just to make sure I have it right, um, I, I just basically am vertical stacking the grid array. So these two rows uh, just stacked on top of uh, an, its replicate, replicate of itself. So now I have four rows, right? And so this is what Python calls the, the first axis, the primary axis. And so there's a parameter in this function uh, called axis equals zero. And that the zero actually corresponds to the first axis. I know it's confusing, uh, but that's just the way it's done. And that's what I get. I just get a vertical stack Vertical stack, axis equals zero, corresponds to the first axis. So in this question though, it's asking me to concatenate the array grid with itself along the second axis. And so the second axis is actually axis equals one. What it's gonna do is it's gonna do a horizontal stack. So instead of stacking it on top of it, each other, it's actually gonna stack it uh, to the right of the first array. So if I run this line of code, I get exactly that. I get grid array, the grid array on the um, left, and then the grid array on the right um, just stacked uh, horizontally together. So that's what it means by uh, concatenating on the second axis. So to make things probably less confusing, I like using the vstack and uh, hstack um, 
functions because concatenate sometimes to me is confusing because of this access parameter. So let's just do this exercise here, concatenate X and grid. So we have grid here and we have X somewhere up here, 246, this is the X array. So, so concatenate X and uh, grid using the VStack function. All right, so that means that I want to put it on top of each other. So let's just let's just print out what this stuff is. So print x, print grid. So grid uh, x is two four six. Grid is this two by two array here. I just want to stack it on top of each other. I want it to look exactly like this actually. So we're gonna use the vstack function, and to do that, all we need to do is call the numpy library call the numpy the vstack uh, function and then say x and then type in grid and uh, if if x is on your left you know that it's going to be at the top and at the bottom it's going to be the grid array and of course use these brackets again if you forgot run this line of code and you get a, a vertical stack right here there's this question why can't X and grid be concatenated using an H uh, stack function? So basically it's asking, why can't we horizontally stack these two together? You can't really, because let's, let's just, let's see what the error is gonna say. Uh, I'm gonna change the vertical stack function to an H stack function. You're gonna say like, well, the, the same, the, the arrays need to be the same number of dimensions. It makes sense because if you basically print the X, and then print the grid arrays. The X array right here is one row and the grid array is two rows. And if you're gonna put it side by side, the, the dimensions won't match. So you can't concatenate on the H stack. All right, so the last section, splitting of arrays. So how do we split arrays? Um, so we have three questions on that. And so the first one is, given this X array here, can we split on element four and element seven? So when I read this, I'm actually kind of confused uh, because I don't actually know what the output uh, is going to look like. Like what is splitting on four, I guess, the, does it mean that I want to include the 99 in the first array or do I want to exclude it? And then if I split it on the seventh element, which is going to be this two, does that mean that I want to include it, the seventh element in my X2 array or do I want it to include it in my X3 array? So without this clarity, I mean, you're kind of free to do whatever you want. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just split one, two, three into X1. I'm gonna split nine, nine in X2 and I'm gonna split uh, three, two, one in X3. And I'm gonna kind of just ignore what this is. I'm just gonna, it, it doesn't really matter. The whole point of this exercise is just to gain an, to gain an understanding of how to split things. Uh, so what I wanna do now is I'm gonna, I can do this whole thing with one line of code using the split function. So I'm gonna call up uh, numpy split function. And then what I, and then inside this function, I'm gonna call the array, that's gonna be the first parameter. And then the second parameter are the positions of where I wanna split. So if I wanna split right here in between three and nine, what number am I gonna put, right? And so we need to think about positions. Python starts with a position of zero or people also say like an index of zero. So this will be zero one, two, and then three. So am I gonna type in two or am I gonna type in three, right? And so this is this is what's hard about it. This, it's a lot of times it just takes trial and error, but you know, just for your reference, what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in three because it's gonna split on this third, basically on this third position on this third index and it's gonna include it in the second array. So it's gonna include 99 in the second array in X2. 
So now I want to specify the second split. So what am I gonna, how am I gonna split 99 and three? Like what position is this? So if this was position three, this must be four and this must be five. So I think it's gonna be, I need a, to type in five here because if I type in five here, it's gonna basically exclude the, the number three from the second array. So I think this works. Let's just see if it does. And it does. I get x1 to be 1, 2, 3, x2 to be 99, 99, and x3 to be 3, 2, 1 with these values here. A lot of it is trial and error. You know, you might not get it the first time around, and that's totally fine. It's really difficult sometimes to figure out, you know, the positioning of things. Um, but there are ways to think about it. One way to, uh, to sort, of, sort of think about it is if I want to split it right here, I'm gonna, it means I'm going to split it on the third element. So I'm going to just type in three. If I want to split it also right here between the 99 and the three, I'm splitting on the fifth element. So I just type in a five here. That's an easy way to think about it. But in reality, we're talking about index positionings and, um, and that's not really what three and five really represent. So there, there's a shortcut method to actually think about these things to solve the problem. And uh, there's really an underlying, uh, underlying foundation of what these numbers actually mean. And you should understand the differences between those two things. All right, so the last two exercises is uh, about splitting by row and splitting by column. So we're gonna use this grid array here, which is a five by five array. And so I'm gonna print out what the grid array looks like. There you go, it's a five by five array. And this question is to split it, split the grid on row two. The way I interpret that is that I'm gonna be splitting I'm gonna have the upper array be this that's highlighted and I'm gonna have the lower array basically uh, be three rows that start with 10, 15, and 20. To me, that's splitting on row two. And so how do we do that? Well, we're gonna use the vSplit function. It stands for vertical split. So if you vertically split something, you are um, splitting it by rows. So we're gonna, the first parameter is what array you wanna split. We wanna split the grid array. And then what, what position do you wanna split it on, right? That's, that's the, what the question is. So we wanna split it um, by row two. So I'm gonna actually put two. It's gonna give me an error if I only put two because I need to encase it in brackets. But I'm gonna split it on the second row which so I just type in row two and let's see what it gives me. There you go. So the, for, the upper here is actually just here. And then the lower is this. That's exactly what we want, right? So now let's uh, split by column. And it's uh, this question is asking to split uh, on the third column. So I think what that means is I'm gonna be splitting the, the left and right right down here. So the third column to me is splitting between the column two and the column three, right here where my mouse is, okay? So if we do that, let's do, it's gonna be uh, an H split because we're splitting by column. And then it's gonna be the grid array, that's the larger grid. And then now we need a number in between these brackets. We want the third, the third column basically, right? So I'm gonna put a three here. And it's basically saying zero, one, two, and three. So this is the third index position. So it's gonna split basically to the left of that. So it's gonna split right here between a two and three. Let's see if it works. That's exactly what I, what I was expecting. I, I have the left grid, the left array to be um, columns that start with a zero, one, and two. And then I have the right array starting with columns three and four. So that's how you split by columns.